expansion. In the earlier video, we saw that when we divided 5 by 8, after a particular number of steps, the remainder became 0. So there we basically got 0.625 as the answer and 0 was the remainder. However, there are certain numbers where this may not be the case. Let us consider two of them. Suppose I want to divide 30 by 9. Or I want to divide, say, 2 by 14. So 2 by 14 here and 9 by 30. Let's do the division. 3 times I get 27, again 3. But 3 is less than 9, so I need to put in a decimal here, I get 30. Again this goes 3 times, this gives me 27. 3 is the remainder, I put in a 0 here, 3, 27, 3, 0, 3, 27. Now please note that every time the remainder which is coming is 3. It's not reducing anyhow. So this will kind of continue indefinitely and what we will get is that the quotient in this case will be 3.33333 and this 3 is going to repeat indefinite number of times. For mathematical purposes we write this as 3.3 and we put in a line above 3. This line that I have put in here basically represents that this number 3 is going to repeat itself indefinitely. Similarly, if I were to consider this case, again 2 is less than 2, so I put in a 0 here and I put in a decimal. So 1, 14, I get 6. 14 goes into 4 times will give me 56. 4. 2 times gives me 28. 12. Okay. 8 times will give me 812. Then the remainder comes 8. 80. 5 will give me 70. 10. Fourteen seven times gives me ninety-eight. Two one fourteen six. Now what I notice that you know this pattern in terms of the remainder, this is two, this is two, this is six, this is six. So what we note here is that this pattern will keep on repeating itself. We've got one set of numbers here, which is 0 0.14827. And this same number is going to repeat itself n number of times. So when we have to write the quotient, we write 0 0.142857. And we put this repeating line just like we did here. Even if you look at the remainders, we see that originally the number was 2, then you had 6, 4, 12, 8, 1, then it's again started with 2, 6, and these will keep on repeating. So these kind of numbers, rational numbers, wherein the quotient has a factor which keeps on repeating itself, are known as non-terminating decimal expansion. These are basically your non-terminating recurring decimal expansion. 